going to see some beautiful stallions today. They're all in the All-American Cup as well as the bluegrass. So feel free to ask questions and you'll enjoy seeing some of the finest stallions in America right here at Cornerstone. Which means he's by Castle Bob, though, and Mitch, where are you? There he is. And, uh, and of course, Mitch is responsible for this horse's sire. And unfortunately, we lost Castle Bravo, and we're hoping that this horse, this young horse, will be able to pick up part of the slack. He's out of the world grand, uh, out of the world champion, the Broomare Hall of Fame, the Daydream Believer. And I think that Castle Vision represents some of the best bloodlines that can be found in our breed. And you know, of course, we mentioned Castle Bravo. He was a world champion, three-gated horse. Uh, he was by Skywatch, of course, in which road to success and out of Yorkshire Pudding, who was Blue Mare Hall of Fame. And of course his dam of Day Dream Believer is also Blue Mare Hall of Fame and the world's champion. In his first three generations in his lineage, there are six world champions and five Blue Mare Hall of Fame mares. Castle Vision was not shown. We thought that Castle Green had proved the point. He also has a full sister, Green Castle is a reserve world champion, five gated horse. And he has other noteworthy half siblings, including world champion HS Dignitary, reserve world grand champion HS Daydreams Heads Up, HS Daydreams Believe in Me, and reserve world champion HS Celebrity. One of the nicest falls from 2011 on our farm was by this young stallion. We believe in him, and we hope you do too. And he's owned by Hagen Celebrates Incorporated and also Sarbery Wine LLC. And uh, you can take a look, this is a horse with some substance. And uh, although we did not show him, we did work him. Um, and he is a, a, an athlete. And it looks like he's going to breed his athleticism. Um, I have put on the donor sides of it, mares into the All-American Cup. We plan to have his hopes eligible on our end of it uh, for the show as well. All right, thanks, Hugo. We'll try another one. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Sarver, by the way, is one of the true authorities. <laughs> this, is, this horse is simply bred. This is H.S. Daydream's Dignity, and obviously he is a half-brother to the horse we just brought out. Different size, got a different look. This horse is by uh, the reserve world champion Sir William Robert, and uh, out of, also out of the Daydream Day Believer, and of course, which means that many of the siblings and half siblings, of course, are related to this horse too. He is like three world champion brothers, and of course, it makes him a half brother to Castle Green and all those really nice horses. Uh, you know, if you want a, a shot, in a, I really believe this horse is is, is more than capable of, of uh, uh, siring the champion in the All American Cup. Uh, his colts last year in various fraternities really did well. Um, uh, the uh, Purmons really had a good had good luck with the uh, Blue Bonnets Believer in one of the Texas Wheeling fraternity, and then another one, Dignified Lady, was reserved uh, in the Texas Yearling, or no, one of the Texas Yearling fraternity, and then he also had a, a real nice horse in the All American Cup this past year that also placed real well. Uh, this horse breeds consistently. And uh, I can tell you that our oldest uh, horse by him is now a three-year-old. And out of the world's champion, she's not bad, which means that she's also uh, a born believer mare. So we did a little line breeding. And this mare is gated and doing extremely well. A beautiful horse, beautiful pedigree, and I think capable of, of siring a really top for purity and performance horse. Thanks again. Follow my lead. His maternal line is really different. He is by, his dam is by Tom Willing. And Tom Willing, of course, was by uh, Will Shriver and out of chorus time. That's two world grand champions right there on that maternal side. And then his second dam is the dam of Swish, Frosty Miss. And then his third dam is Carol Ann. And so when you get to looking at proven, proven bloodlines, this horse is real. Very real. This is the first time you'll be offered an auction, and I would encourage you to get out your checkbook. I think uh, I bred one of my best mares to him. I bred a mare of my preferred property called Perfectly Perfect. You know, some of you remember her when she was showing. She's a 
very light chestnut. Some would call it Carolina, but she's very light chestnut. And I, I believe in this horse, and I really think that uh, uh, here's an opportunity to get in at the ground level. And uh, all of his, all of his uh, uh, ancestors have been just top, top show horses. Thanks, Joe. Look at that eye. How about it? Come on, Ryan and his uh, family trust. He is by Harlem Town. His dam is by Periapter. And he's a big one. And high headed, and he really looks the part. Sure does. Sure does. He only has 13 colts so far, but in that group he has a uh, reserve champion of bluegrass, uh, bluegrass maturity, and he has a few show horses. You know, if you've got 13 horses, no one and maybe a few that are already in record as having uh, one class as shown, and that's Brook Hills London College, Brook Hills Spain, and do the Bossa Nova. We talked about building from the ground floor up, and this junior stadium. I really believe it's going to give people an opportunity to get the right kind of horse. And if you look at this confirmation, see how he pops out, you can see that he is an appropriate selection in looking at showing him the All-American Cup. Melissa Moore bred a mare to him. I know she thinks a lot Melissa of Melissa breeds to him every year. Yeah. She does. And uh, Pretty smart lady. Well, she sure is. All right. I like him. I like him. Yeah, I can see it. He needs a hand. This is a, and I think it's a champion hall right now. Not only is he a world's champion, he's had his champion set status several times over. And bred by Colorado Farm. Joe, you're here somewhere. No? And uh, there she is. And uh, Harlem Town has made his mark as a sire. He certainly made his mark as a show horse. And he's represented everyone who has had anything to do with him very well. Um, his band, wonderful. It's just amazing. Uh, all her acolytes and all the women have done, and the number of world championships that have, that have been accomplished in this pedigree. Uh, with that being said, he hasn't been an overused horse. He only has 140 registered yet, and they include like Champion 98 Degrees, Champion Brook Hills, King of Cool, Champion Harlem Santa Fe, Champion She's My Desire, Champion Cool Time Bill, and Champion. Harlem Scandal. That's a, that's a lot of champions. And then there are the world champions, Major Bluck, Samantha Jones, Mira Mead, Revel, and Harlem's Friendly Conversation. Now, he's 27 years old. It's a good time to get in. Time is limit. There is a limiting time factor with this, but I will tell you, I think he might just be in the, right in the best of his breeding potential. And I would encourage all of you all to make very strong consideration of this really lovely, wonderful uh, stallion that has really belongs in our history books. Yes, and, he does. Uh, and he's, he's a wonderful horse, and we just are so proud to have Harlem Town. Big hand for Harlem Town. just a second, but he uh, is a horse we raised. I think he's the best breeding son of Supreme Mare. He's out of a mare by Starlight Sultan. This is a line bred horse, so when you breed to him, you want to do some outcrossing. He is really, as a young horse, the most athletic horse I ever had my hands on. Um, he showed him as a yearling, didn't he? Oh, we won with him, Mr. We won with him as a yearling. And, <laughs> well, it's all about winning, isn't That's it? That's right. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone wants to go in and be second place. <laughs> uh, this horse was extreme in his motion, and he's silent. And we're, and we're getting horses in all divisions. We've got an extremely nice filly that's a three-year-old that's gated. That's really, really nice by him. And, and he only has 50 horses, but he has champions such as Sensation, True Fortune, Lou Gibbons, Airs above, kill the lights, calumnies, love me or leave me, slate, and then Leatherwood's Hancock, a horse that I haven't been paying a lot of attention to, but he's practically undefeated in the park division. And really, uh, I think this horse gives you a real opportunity to do well, both in a maturity type environment as well as in performance. And uh, uh, 
I, I, I can't be more proud of this young horse than I am. Who go ahead about just bouncing in just a second? He might like a little hand while he's out. He uh, passes those hop, his hop action off almost to all of his get. We haven't seen a horse that couldn't use the back, back, back in. And, and they're balanced and, they, and they're coordinated. And it really makes a big difference. But these horses train well, and you can get a five gathered horse as well. And it's going to be a ham. <laughs> You know, we, we've shown you breeding stallions, and, and you can see our barn's not set up to work horses and everything. And I know you've seen a lot of horses working at other places you've been. But we, are, we uh, try to put the emphasis of our operation on breeding. We try to pay attention to the quality of horses we offer. We also try to pay attention to the quality of the product that we offer you, as well as our service. And. Uh, with that being said, we appreciate your visit. I know everyone's a little late because of your extended tour. <laughs> but I encourage you to uh, bid tonight. I, I'd love for you to purchase breedings to these horses. Uh, I'm sure that some of you will. And I can assure you that we, uh, we also participate as well. We have a number of horses that are eligible for showing this year as well. And Jim, I hope you feel better. I'm doing fine, thank you. And uh, with that being said, thank you all for coming. We hope to have you again next time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great honor for us to visit you.